So I got to tell you, all these uh, business lefties, business reporter lefties and some day traders, they are blaming Liz, Trun Liz, Liz Trusses, she's the new British prime minister, they're blaming her supply side tax cutting and ending the ban on fracking and deregulating all positive growth. They're blaming the fall of the British pound on Liz Truss's supply side agenda. And I will say nonsense, absolute nonsense. The problem here is the Bank of England is not fighting inflation. And the pound started collapsing and they lost control of the pound and they lost control of the British Treasury market uh, called the gilt market last Thursday. When they only raised rates 50 basis points, the Federal Reserve raised rates 75 basis points the day before, and the Bank of England last two raises 50, whereas the Fed 75. There's your problem with an 8.6% inflation rate in Britain. They are wussing out, even while our friend Jay Powell is growing some hair on his chest. All right, that's my quick little uh, editorial here. Joining me now. My pal Steve Moore, Committee to Unleash Prosperity and Freedom Works, and the author of Godzilla. I mean, Steve, it's it's the it's the Bank of England. I mean, we have a chart up. We could show it again, maybe. The pound has been falling for a long time, but they only went 50 last week. The Fed went 75, and then today at the end they said they'll you know if they started saber rattling, we'll be tougher and tougher, and the pound actually went up a tiny bit. But that's the problem. Since when is lower tax rates bad for a currency or an economy? That's the part I don't get. Uh, well, but Larry, look, uh, Liz Truss is turning into a hero. I had some doubts about her when she was first nominated, but she has been a superstar. I mean, it's hard to find anything not to like about what she has done so far. You mentioned the tax cuts. You mentioned the—by the way, she wants to take that top tax rate, uh, Larry, from 45 down to 40 percent, very much like what you guys did in the Trump administration in lowering our taxes, and, and that caused the economic boom and more tax revenues. This is a very sound policy. Britain's going to go from one of the highest tax rates now down towards the middle. That's going to attract capital. She's cutting 1 percent off of income taxes for all workers. Fantastic. Let's reward work. It's uh, it's very related to your previous discussion with, with uh, Kevin McCarthy. We've got to reward work and reward people for getting back in the labor force. Uh, she's pro-fracking. Did you know that, Larry? Yes. She's in favor yes. of fracking. Yes. They have an energy crisis going yes. on. Ener Britain has a lot of energy. They have a lot of oil and gas that they should be using, and she's in favor of that. She's in favor of a, a, a hiring freeze by government. Mm. Great idea. So this is a—you know what I call this, Larry? This is Bidenomics in reverse. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. And, and look, the people in, in, the, uh, in her uh, camp are looking at what's happening in the United States, the disaster that's happened under Joe Biden. The 21, we're down 25 percent in real terms or something like that with respect to the stock market. So I don't I don't have a good explanation for why uh, the market has fallen there in Britain. But I'll tell you this, if she can get this all done, she is going to be the next Mar Margaret Thatcher. Well, I'm just saying the the, the latest drop in the British pound, British pound has been falling a long time because Boris Johnson yep. was running Joe Biden progressive, big spending exactly. policies. That's exactly and, right. And, and Boris, you know, nice person, uh, know him well and so forth down through the years, but, you know, he was running an anti-fossil uh, fuel policy. So just as something that Art Laffer sent around today, I'm sure you saw it, mm -hmm. this idea mm -hmm. that lower tax rates, now this <laughs> is not like a temporary uh, rebate. These are lower tax rates. And last time Britain raised yep. taxes under Gordon That's Brown, right. revenues fell, okay? Right. They fell. Yes. And this was a study by the U.K. Treasury. So don't tell me that the pound's falling because these tax cuts are going to be bad for the budget. They're going to be great for the budget. In fact, they're going to, you know, in, a, in any dynamic analysis. That's the part that annoys me. You get all these left... It's so funny. The business media... With this network accepted, I'll be honest with you, the business media is very suspect. You know, they lean left. I mean, I read an article on another network's website that said the reason the British pound is falling is because Liz Truss's tax cuts will help the wealthy. Hmm. Really? They'll help the wealthy. Of course, they might help everybody, including large and small, but that's what, it'll help the wealthy, so therefore the pound is going down. That is such a bunch of hooey. If the Bank of America had some hair on its chest, it'd be fighting inflation. That's what's happened. That's the problem. And I, I wanted to spend a moment on the show 
you know, just to make this point, I don't want this. Our supply side is going to be great for the British pound. You know, you said uh, she's reversing uh, Joe Biden. She's reversing Boris. Reaganomics is coming to the UK, right. right? That's exactly right. In a movie yeah, theater near you. Yeah, and by the way, pay attention to what's happened to Italy as well. Now, I, I, Georgiana Maloney, I think is her name, she's going to win in Italy. She is very much in favor of tax cuts, too. What's going on here? The Europeans are starting to maybe get it that these, these woke uh, left wing big government policies aren't working. And on this side of the pond, our own leaders don't seem to get it, although Kevin McCarthy does. But, but I think it's an exciting new development. It's the first thing that I've seen in the last couple of months that I can feel like this is pro growth. This is bullish. Look, if you're right, Larry, and I think you are. This is a time to maybe buy into the U.K. stock market. Ah, ooh. You know, you have two women on the supply <laughs> right. side in Britain right. and Italy. I can just see the leaders of the European Union, their hair is on fire. <laughs> their brains are exploding. Right. How is this right. possible? The big yeah. government models going down in Britain and now Italy? I love the Italy yeah. thing because, you know, in terms of the Italian government, nobody ever listens to the Italian government, but if they're going to cut tax rates, well, whatever. It's fabulous. So, By, by the way, Larry, you know what they're calling them? They're calling them neo-fascists because oh. they want the, I mean, which is exactly the opposite of what fascism is. Fascism is, is big government. These two leaders want to get the government out of the way and let businesses work to employ more people and grow the economy. Listen, the cavalry is coming worldwide. That's yeah, the deal. It is. Steve Moore, <laughs> thanks, it. buddy. Appreciate it.